As flowers bloomed and skies were filled with rays from the sun's heat, summer had arrived, and with it came a new flame. A new beginning for me, at least. How I met her? Online, like many other people who had met new friends and made new connections. I didn't see the harm in chatting with her, and I definitely never had any intentions of meeting her face to face. Within the first couple of days of chatting back and forth, we quickly learned that we had a lot in common and shared many of the same interests. And we entertain each other with good conversation. But how often do you find two women making a connection online without any real motive unless they're like lesbians or something? That was my thought, and a valid one in my opinion, seeing as though I am in fact a lesbian and well she, she was a different story. I neglected to mention that the social media site we met on was a site for the gay, lesbian, transgender, queer, and questioning community. You know, like Facebook. I also failed to mention that she extended a friend request to me, stating that she was only looking for something along the friendship line. So naturally, I assumed that because she was on the site, she was a lesbian as well. But I found it strange that she didn't have a picture of her face on her profile page. Only a few snapshots of her body, which was quite appealing by the way. So this woman, whom I had been chatting with, possessed an amazing personality, yet lacked an identity because I had no clue what she looked like or who she really was. Curious, not about what she looked like, but as to why she had chosen not to reveal her identity, I decided to be intrusive and ask. Her response was short and straight to the point. I'm married.